another video. So listen, today we're gonna be cooking up from scratch using 100% stock plugins. And uh, really, I think you guys will enjoy this. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the Mix and Magic store. It's at treylovexxx.com. It's where you can find presets, templates, and you can inquire about mixing and mastering. But let's go ahead and get started. So initially, if you haven't recorded before, you wanna make sure you got your audio settings set up right. You wanna make sure your device or interface is selected. So I have Focusrite USB Osio. We got the buffer length on 128. You wanna keep that on 128 just so you don't run into any latency issues. Uh, the next thing is you wanna click on file. You wanna make sure your backup is on auto save to frequently. So just so if your session happens to crash, you have the backup files for like every five minutes, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a little beat really quick. Let's pull up, let's pull up the stressing beat right here. So once you drag your beat in, you wanna get the key in the BPM. So I'm gonna open up Virtual DJ and actually drag it into there as well. And it looks like we've got 133 F sharp major. So let's do 133. And then we can head over to Google and let's do F sharp major relative minor. And then we get D sharp minor. What I like to do is I like to double click on my beat click this little track knob right here, assign free track, and then I'm just gonna kind of move it over to about three or four. Now let's go ahead and set up our mic, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on uh, track number four. Let's rename it to mic. And then we can also give it a color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click up here on this audio input source, and then we're gonna click on our mic, and my mic is gonna be the focus right. Uh, USB Osio Mono input one. So now you guys should be able to hear me all through FL. Um, and as you guys can see, as I'm talking, my mic is obviously picking it up. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unroute from the master and route it to track number five. So once we got that, we can go ahead and open up a Mason Magic preset. So I'm gonna open up a stock uh, Gunna and Lil Baby template. Let's go ahead and do Met Gala, let's do Mixer. And let's look for the lead vocals. All right, so we got the verse. I'm gonna drag it into And now you guys should be able to hear me with the auto-tune. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn my auto-tune off. Um, if you guys have this little bar on your screen over here, you can, you can drag this out. Um, and if you don't have it, you can press up here. It'll be, it's called View Browser Plugin Picker. Um, I'm gonna click on the plugin database. I'm gonna grab Picture and go ahead and throw Picture into my, um, into my effect chain. So, so now we got Picture. We got two fruity parametric EQs. Uh, we got two fruity limiters, and then we got a maximum. And then I'm gonna kind of break down uh, exactly what we're gonna be doing with these. So. Let's look for D sharp minor. We got D sharp minor. Got the got the auto tune all the way on. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna play the beat and go to see how it's sounding. Yeah. Hey, let me know some it's your boy Trey Love. Y'all go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me know if y'all rocking with this free stock template. Oh, so we really didn't even record that, so let's go ahead and do it again. All right, so we back at it. And hey, we back at it. It's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. Yeah. Shit, I don't even feel a light rapping. So I ain't gonna rap. If y'all wanna see some rap, go to the last video. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right, so we got a decent little take. Now, since this is a beginner tutorial, um, I'm gonna show you guys a few tips. All right, so I'm back on the regular mic now that we got a few vocals recorded, and I kind of just want to show you guys a few things about how to go about mixing and uh, getting your vocals set up. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll record takes, you know what I'm saying, hundreds of, hundreds of takes, uh, sometimes bar for bar, sometimes maybe it'll be like uh, two or three bars, you know what I'm saying, at once. Like, for instance, like this, I might get a good whole take, and then I might need to chop some out. So let's go play this back, and then listen to see how we should uh, edit it. All right, so we back at it. And we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. So initially, I feel like let's just cut off this first part because I didn't even finish my uh, my sentence. So let's cut this off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click up here to the slice tool and then we're gonna click shift and then it'll bring up this blue line and it's gonna be a slice tool. So, so as soon as you let go of the mouse button, it cuts it. Um, you can also do shift and then you can right click 
and then it'll pretty much delete it automatically so let's do something like that and i'm gonna click on this mute track and then we can actually mute it or we can right click and then delete it entirely now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it back and kind of see uh, how the alignment is and hey, we back at it it's your boy trey love hey leave a like comment down below subscribe turn on post notifications let us know how this vocal sounding yeah. I don't even feel like rapping. So I ain't gonna rap. If y'all wanna see some rap, go to the last video. No, I'm just joking. So as you guys seen, I just kind of cut out some of these uh, dead spaces where I'm not really talking, but my mic is picking up a lot of uh, sounds. So, you know what I'm saying? I suggest cutting that out. Uh, if you have any uh, alignment issues, you may need to move your, uh, you may need to move your vocals over. So um, what I like to do is I like to click on this little grid up here snap to grid and then make sure it's selected on none Unless you want it to be like on the bar or a specific step or beat or you know what I'm saying just so really you're able to move it freely You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and click control Z and take that back and so now we have it how it was um, The next thing I want to do is I'm gonna kind of go over some of the effects So now we're gonna go to the effects and what I like to do is since this is a stock pre-made artist template Sometimes you may have to make some adjustments, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to check out these limiters, make sure our our, our gain and compression is uh, correct and our vocals are, are level first. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our mix in mono. Um, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to click back on the, the limiter. Let's turn this first one off really quick. This is the compression one. And we're going to click on our second one just to get the gain. And we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And we're going to turn it back on. What we're going to do is, and then we're going to move the threshold to the middle low peak of the vocal, just so we can kind of make everything level. And we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. So we do something like this. We got the threshold around five to eight. Let's see. And hey, we back at it. It's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounding. And hey, we back at it. It's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounding. Yeah. We got the ratio on eight and the threshold at the middle of the peak. And then what we did is we actually just boosted the second limiter um, just to kind of make the level sit above the beat. So I feel like that's smooth right there. Shit, I don't even feel like rapping. And I can go ahead and turn the mono off. So we'll reset that. Um, we're gonna go to our EQ. So as you guys can see, we got a few bands in here and um, all we're really doing is just taking out some of the crazy frequencies um, by doing a sweep. So we can really go ahead and reset these really quick. We have a low cut. And what I like to do is I like to kind of just play it and kind of get a listen to see what sounds the best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it really quick and then I'll show you guys how we go about adjusting the low end on the EQ. And hey, we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounding. So I feel like something like that's good. When I make one of these boost, um, I'm just gonna kind of make it a skinny little boost. Um, something like this. We're gonna play it and then listen for bad hey, sounds. Back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. So I feel like right here we get a muddy sound, so we go ahead and take this out a little bit. Hey, we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Hey, we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Hey, we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounding. Go ahead, take that out as well. Hey, we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounding. Yeah. And then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the additive EQ. Um, I'm gonna boost some of the high end back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just drag this up and then uh, just play it and see what sounds the best. Um, I really just want the vocal to have 
clarity and kind of sit in the forefront of my headphones, you know. So that's what I'm really listening for. And then you guys will be able to hear that as I'm doing this too. And we back at it. It's your boy Chad Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. Yeah. I don't even feel like rapping So I ain't gonna rap If y'all wanna see some rap, go to the last video Nah, no, I'm just joking Hey, why does that look? He sound like that Corey LeRae shit And then, so we have a Maximus for the de -esser. Um, oh And all we're gonna do is we're gonna do right click Click de split band And then we're gonna drag this knob down a little bit We back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. So I feel like that's a pretty clear vocal. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the, to the delays and reverb. I'm not really too sure if my reverb uh, will work this time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the fruity, and so we'll just try and see. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our lead vocal track. We're gonna go ahead and route it over to six. We're gonna go ahead and add a delay in. And we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love, and leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the first of kick. And so what I like to do is I like to put my, my uh, time on four steps. Um, and then I'm going to kind of turn the cut knob down a little bit, adjust the volume and the ping pong, get the input right. And we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love, and leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the first of kick. We back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. Yeah. Alright, so all I really did was um just kind of turn everything down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add a sound goodizer on here, boost it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a fruity chorus on here as well. Turn the fruity chorus down. Right under our FX slots, we have a, a EQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and EQ it again. And we back at it, it's your boy Trey Love. Hey, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let us know how this vocal sounded. Yeah. And then kind of go ahead and turn it down on the actual uh, mixer track. And so we get something like this. Uh, the next thing is I'm gonna add a reverb in. So let's go ahead and go back to our lead vocal track. And then we're gonna send our, our, our vocal track to another insert. So let's go ahead and reset it again. So it's sending to track 100. I'm going to open up Fruity Reverb 2, and hopefully it'll open up this time. I guess it's not going to open up, but so what you want to do with the Fruity Reverb 2 is really you guys can watch any of the videos to kind of see, but you're going to do 60,000 divided by the BPM. That's going to be your decay time. You're going to, you're going to divide that by four. It's going to be your pre-delay. Then you kind of want to EQ the reverb, a low cut around 500 hertz, high cut around 7,000 hertz. Um, the next thing from there is adding some stereo separation, uh, EQing it some more, you know what I'm saying? And then you want to turn the volume down to around like 40%. And uh, generally, that would be like a, a, a golden zone for the reverb. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Trey Love. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you guys get started recording. And uh, yeah.